Hi, this is Brian. I'm going to review Juice Power, How to Juice for Healing, Fat Loss, and Lifelong Health by Mike Cernovich. This is a book about getting a juicer or a blender. Inside the book, it's a book on recipes, model comparisons, and he gives his personal advice on juicing issues, as well as providing research data for his claims. Some simple advice that he gives is to make time. You know, you can make time to juice. Most people come up with excuses about not having time to do anything or they're too busy. But in essence, there's time. And, and if you do these juicing techniques or even juice or just take a better health stance in your lifestyle, it adds up to a bigger and more vibrant life. Some tips are, you know, you could freeze some of the fruit to buy, the greens. Also, you could shop at Costco, which has uh, cheaper prices if you buy in bulk. Some other items that you could juice with that I didn't really know or even have even tried are cucumbers, pomegranates, collard greens, kale, pumpkin, ginger, bok choy, and beets. I didn't learn about juicing till the juice man, um, I'm not, I think he mentions his name, his name is Jay. They had infomercials on selling this Juice Man product. And what I do is, you know, I never really had a juicer, but I have a blender. And that blender is a Vitamix 5200. It costs about $400, but it pays off its price if you use it. Instead of going to Jamba Juice and uh, buying orange juice, you can, in the long run, you could save a ton of money. Also, you could freeze these drinks. Typically what I use in my blender is I use Faye yogurt, whether it be low fat or fat free. Most of the time I get fat free because that's what they sell at Costco. I buy a big jug and I always use bananas and then I kind of mix two or three fruits with it. So typically I will freeze it or keep it fresh. And these are some of the fruits that I use, blackberries, strawberries, blueberries, oranges, and pineapple. And I do sometimes add spinach into it. I typically don't put any vegetables in it, but that is just for personal preference. And in terms of supplements, I add protein powder or flaxseed. Some new ingredients that I'll probably add in the future are coconut, pepper, and cinnamon. Some of the things that I disagree with Mike on in this juice book are he uses a ton of kale in his drinks. I don't like the taste of kale. I think it's gross. And instead of using kale, I would be using spinach instead. It's just a lighter... A lighter vegetable that's easier on your taste buds to me. He has a whole page recommending kale, and I don't, I don't really care for kale. Some of the weird things that he also recommends: you can take your fish oil with your juice. Also, you can make a veggie burger with the juice pulp. That seems kind of weird to me. I gotta do more research if that's been done. But I'd rather just eat the veggie burger or just do a turkey burger. I'd rather just throw the pulp away. He is a minimalist, so I think that's, I think this is one of his tactics of trying to do with the best you can in a conjunction appreciating everything that you have. And in terms of juicing itself, this is not steroids, it's juice. I know from a few of his videos that he uses the testosterone therapy treatment and I don't agree with that. I'm not sure what the issues uh, with juicing, that type of juicing is. I just think going out and doing the natural thing, your testosterone, your testosterone level will increase. I read this book on Kindle Unlimited for free. And I do recommend you read his other books, Gorilla Mindset and Danger and Play Essays on Embracing Masculinity. I have more information on Mike on those videos.